Hello, my name is Zanetta Silva, and I believe that you should be psychologically and sexually educated in sex and everything that surrounds sex, because if you do not have the proper knowledge um, about sex, number one, um, you're going to create more, like, uh, unwanted pregnancies because if you're constantly, for example, if you're constantly teaching abstinence rather than giving them alternative options like contraception, they're not going to really understand how to use it or what to do uh, when in that situation or when they're actually truly um, mentally ready to do something as a sexual act. Um, it's going to create, like, um, the un, like, not the proper way of knowing how to do something. So it's going to create either an STD or pregnancy or they're going to try and figure it out on their own ways and they're just not going to. So I believe that it's important to educate people because not everyone knows everything that they might know, might think they know. So... Enjoy the video. So from watching that video, what did you learn? What's one thing you learned? Um, I learned that you can get like tiny microscopic abrasions from shaving. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Which result in different like, diseases. Mm -hmm. Or like, I guess like increased, like you're more prone to getting those diseases. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> what did you learn from the video? Oh, so I learned that there are some uh, scientific hypotheses about why we have a hair dispersed like in specific patches in our bodies and where the body odor comes from, from like bacteria digesting whatever that substance is that our body secretes. And uh, I didn't know the part about the STDs, they're actually like transmitted or you have like a higher chances of contracting STDs because you shave or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Google and grooming becoming a popular personal practice. Is it really the best idea to shave? What is one thing that you learned about this video? Hello, I'm Zach. The thing that I learned from this video um, was that Shaving your pubic hair often or a lot of times can result in STDs or um, so things like gonorrhea, stuff like that. Okay, and Joel? <laughs> Pheromones. Pheromones. Oh, what about them? Pheromones so. happen during ovulation. Yeah. And you, Anthony? The number one call in the United States for penis problems is removing your hair, your pubic hair. In the hospital. <laughs>